Welcome back to Full Deck Gaming, and happy Friday. I hope you are doing well. I hope you had a fantastic week. It's Slimeball, and today I have a Red Cane gameplay for you because I just had a fantastic game, and I felt like sharing it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be talking through what I do and why. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share. I will see you in about two seconds. So I'm jungling against the Viego, which means that he's probably starting red, but I want to ward that just to be safe. I hate running in there blind, but you know what I did anyway, that Ari is way up, so I think we're going to be able to get some quick damage on her. Unfortunately, no CC, but we do get a flash for free, which is just huge, considering how little I'm going to gank mid in this game. It's amazing. Nasus is already up top, so I'm going to start Raptors. I'm not going to worry about a leash. I'm just going to go ahead and get my E real quick, and uh, he's fighting the Kled now. I'm not actually a huge fan of starting Raptors with Kane. I know it's, you know, one of the better things you can do. However, it forces me to go top to get Krugs, and then I have to go all the way down to Wolves after I've cleared everything. So it kind of puts me out of position a little bit. Unless you know that Viego is starting bottom like he is, and this Kled's going to be aggro as hell, you can actually get a level 3 gank before Viego is going to be coming topside, so you can get a quick kill real fast, and then move on, which is exactly what I do, actually. Viego is on red, and I'm on Raptors. This is great. I'm going to be able to get Bramble back and Krogs and then go for a gank because I know Viego is bottom thanks to that ward I placed that didn't get cleared because we're in low elo, which is just a huge benefit. There's also a leash going on bottom side, so we know that Viego is down there, even if we didn't have that ward there. Kled is pushed up, so easy gank if I do it right. And uh, I'm going to clear Krogs first just in case things go south and I end up dying. In this elo, I have very, very little faith in my laners to do anything at all, which is why my goal is first blood not to get Nasus killed. I know, I know, Nasus Q stacks all that fun stuff and he's going to be really powerful in the late game. I don't care. I want the gold. I'm a greedy little bastard like that. I don't care. That's what I'm after. I'm after the S+, plus. I'm after the damage, I'm after the kills, I'm after it all. I am selfish when I play Kane and I really couldn't care less actually. Alright, going to kill these last two little Krugs, I'm going to get my W and then I'm moving in for the gank. Of course he's not off the Scarl because Nasus didn't know I was coming. However, not a problem. I'm going to get him off real quick. No pun intended. And look at that. He's off the Scarl. We get his flash and it's still not enough. Like, just, yep. All right, cool. He's dead. And Nasus doesn't Q, everybody. Nasus does not Q. Moral of the story is when you're Nasus and you know you're getting a kill, Q him and get the stacks for it. There is no benefit to not getting the stacks, especially when you have the opportunity. Look at that, he's only at 18 right now. He should be much higher. We know that Viego has now moved to top. I'm going to hit this revealer. See that he's on blue. Okay, can't go really in and steal anything, but I can yoink this really weak scuttle because of the nerf that they gave it. Now that I've taken that from him, I know he's topside. Now I can go down and I can immediately double scuttle him, especially considering Ari is dead and they know exactly where I am. There's no point in going behind so that they don't see where I'm going. They know where I am. So I'm going to get double scuttle on this Viego, which used to be a much bigger deal. Bot lane is pretty far pushed. There's no gank there. I'm going to be looking to clear my bottom jungle and then recall, get my boots, get uh, some more items, and continue on with the game. That is the entire plan of what we're going through right here. Unfortunately, clearing jungle is not always easy as you think, considering how much of a bot I am. Please skip the next 30 seconds of the video. This is really embarrassing. I really... I don't want to talk about it. I really don't. I do it right in the other parts of the video, but don't click out of this when you see this. I promise it gets better. This is this is just a, a low moment for me. Just it's a really low moment. All right, I, I don't get executed, but uh, I'm really close to it. Yeah, this uh, this Gromp is actually doing some work right here, and then he just goes back, refills on health, and comes right back. It's not like I need that kill or something. Now I got to kite away so that I can get my smite off, and then I'm not going after Gromp again because he almost killed me. Let me know in the comments if that happens to you a lot, but that, that's just a low moment for me. I promise this video gets much better. I wouldn't be posting it if it didn't get better. But, uh, yeah, my ping's bad too. But, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not having a good time right now. Even though I was just saying I'm ahead, now i got to come back and see what I can do to improve this gameplay. But now we got Viego coming down, so I need to step up and hold lane a little bit so that my teammates are not just left out to dry when Viego dies and the Jinx is chilling. So now I gotta come in, back them off a little bit. This is really to save the Alawi. I'm not actually trying to kill the Jinx there. 
and then Alawi just goes in regardless. So, yeah, that was a complete waste of time, and I really wish I had spent it going after Gromp. I'm going to now try and go after this Ari here, who's trying to push up on a weak Vex. Unfortunately, I know she just threw a orb, but I don't know if her Charmed is up or not. And if I get Charmed right here, I'm insta-dead. And I'm really not trying to do that. So now I'm going to back off and try and steal some Raptors, even though VA goes up and he's probably coming this way. I don't quite have enough to just execute all of the Raptors and Viego steals it back. Worst things could happen. I got some health back, now I can go and clear my Gromp and everything's okay. A little bit of a waste of time, but it could have been a lot worse. I could have died in several places there. I'm just glad I was able to back off. As far as my build goes, I know that Gore Drinker is the favorite on Red Cane right now, but I actually prefer Duskblade because you can go for the multi-kills, which happens a lot in this game. It's really beneficial to be able to turn invisible like that. It worked out really well for me, and I'm not a huge fan of Gore Drinker anyway, but I do like when you're building a Duskblade. It's uh, it's very good to have. Like That's one of my favorite items in the game. So right here, I've got my bottom jungle cleared. I've got Vex pushed a little bit back in lane. I've got my top jungle up. I need to clear my top jungle and see if I can help Vex or see what happens with this Nasus, considering that uh, Kled is gone. So this is a little bit of a uh, dealer's choice on which one I want to gank, top or mid. I know that top's going to help get me red, and I know that mid is not, so... Well, my answer is pretty clear. I'm going to gank top if the opportunity arises. Sorry, Vex, but, uh, well, you should be up anyway. You, she didn't have a flash, and you got your first kill on her before she got one on you. No idea how this Vex loses lane as bad as she does later on in the game. Yeah, spoilers, whatever. All right, Kled has pushed up aggro, and I just cleared my Krugs. That's a decent gank right here if we can get it off, which, of course, you know, we can't because I'm way too far away for this gank, and Kled actually has some mobility. So uh, this is just a couple tower shots right here. Yeah, that's something I didn't need to take. Now, if you heard me just spamming W when it wasn't up, that would be wise that I thought we were going to have some CC there, some slow, so we'd have a better chance of getting that kill. Unfortunately, we don't. So I'm going to go in and steal Gromp because it's worth more XP than Raptors. Don't sleep on stealing Gromp or Krugs. Don't do it. I know that Raptors are, and Wolves are the easy steals. However, don't sleep on it because that will give you a lot more XP. That will be very beneficial to you. And now I'm going to come in and try another gank because that is my goal is to get red. And that was a mistake because Ari is there. No, uh, no pings, no nothing, just... Ari happened to be there. That's a bad L to take. Viego is in Tribush, so I want to see if he's going to try and invade. He doesn't because he sleeps on CS in this game. Not really too worried about it, but I know he's not there. And I'm going to move back in. I'm going to get red, I'm going to get raptors, and I'm going to keep going. I see Viego is mid, and that means that I'm going to be able to get red, and I'm going to get raptors, and hopefully this Vex doesn't die because, you know, I have zero faith in this Vex at all in this game. Just... Just saying, nothing against this player, but uh, yeah, it did not play well. So now I know that Viego is topside and that he's going to stay topside for a little bit. So there's really nothing for me here. Going for a gank up on Kled is not a smart move because I know Viego is nearby and that already does roam, especially with this Vex. So I'm going to make sure Viego is not on Rift Herald and then I'm just going to go ahead and move bottom side. There really is nothing for me up here right now. So I need to go and continue to farm and continue to move forward. I just hit that... Um, vision, so they know exactly where I am. There's no point in trying to hide it right now, or else I would have gone behind that wall. Tried to avoid line of sight on the minions. This Jinx is desperate for the kill and is moving up hard, and I'm going to be able to capitalize on that in a second here. We got control wards in there. We know that she can't see me right here, and so this is an easy gank because I am well between her and the tower, and I got my six, and she just burnt through a ton of stuff going for the kill. Easy ult, and what she gone. Free gold for me, everybody. Extra 200. I'm going to be able to clear this lane. It's going to go back into a freeze, and then I'm going to move right back out of lane. There's nothing for me here anymore. Right now, I'm thinking about doing dragon, but Viego is mid, and he's probably moving down. And they just put a control ward on it. That's the Yone. We know it's the Yone because I just killed the Jinx. Viego and Ari are both mid. And now we confirmed it is the Viego. Luckily, I can go through walls, and he can't. Well, he just did. You get the point. You understand what I mean. Alright, ignoring the fact that we have an Alawi support, I've got someone to fight with. V we know Viego is weak because he was just on the dragon. We can see that. And we've got Yone running away. 
They're running towards that Ari, who is absolutely clueless right now. Viego is now cursed, and we can move up a little bit. However, they backed out, and this really isn't a fight that we should be picking right now. If I'd gone for Ari right here, we would have been good. Unfortunately, my head ass was going after Viego. And now I gotta back out, or else I'm gonna die. So, we got them weak, we got them backed out. Time to steal some Raptors, because I steal them instantly. Look at that. Just, they're all so weak, just like that. And I got my red in that little skirmish, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And then we're going to go for Dragon, because Hextech Dragons are worth a lot. More. So, we're going for it. Finally getting form is really where this video starts to take off, because Red Cane is just so freaking OP, it's fantastic. Plus, I got 1,500 gold, which means that I have enough for my Dust Blade, and I can really get things going here. Free Dragon to boot. They don't even contest at all. So, yeah, we're looking really good right now. So, it's at this point that I'm going to clear this ward, and then, you know how I absolutely failed to kill Blue Buff and Gromp at the same time? Well, there is redemption. There, this is my entire redemption arc for this video. I'm going to be able to do it this time. And it's going to be amazing. I'm not babysitting bottom lane. I probably should have. But you know what? That's not on me. We got Viego going down there too. Well, too bad. That is a death sentence if I go down there right now. So I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my CS just like this. You ready? Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Redemption is mine. To add an extra layer of just complicated for this, I was trying to plug in my headset at the same time. So yeah, that uh that shows how much of a fluke that first one was for all those people who didn't click out when they saw that crap. Bottom jungle cleared. I got 2,000 gold. I really need to reset here, so that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, bottom lane. Gwen, you're recalling too. Shit happens. Nasus is doing work up top. I got my Dusk Blade, and I can level up my boots some, get some armor on them. I like the armor boots, just personally. And then Rast is coming out to play. Can we take a moment to appreciate how beautiful the uh, Nightbringer Kane skin is? Like, look at that. He's white. You got a white Rast. I mean, that just looks fire to me. I was thinking about getting a Chroma. What do you think? Should I get a Chroma? What's the best one to buy? Can only see what the OG Kane is, not after form. But you know what? It is what it is. I love this skin. It's absolutely beautiful. This was my gift to myself when I hit Mastery 7 with Kane, which actually took, like, a day after Hit Mastery 5, but that's not the point. Okay, back to the game. Kled is trying to shove lane right here. I know that, and that's fantastic. We got Nasus coming up, and I'm going to be able to clear some of this, taxing Nasus a little bit. It's not like he's using that anyway. And Kled decides to stick around. This was a mistake here, because now I'm going to be able to move up on him. I've got more CC. Nasus does too. And he doesn't have a tower. What was he thinking? This, this was just such a mistake, and he has to do that to get away. Such a shame. When I was making this play, I had absolutely no idea where Viego was, and I didn't even care. I had my ult, I had my form, I am not worried about him in the slightest, considering that his CC, excuse me, his CS is really low. However, Fled sticks around because he's an idiot, and this is just too easy. Just give me the kills and the flash, thank you. Really appreciate that, buddy. In order to get form, I completely ignored mid lane, which is a real shame. Unfortunately, Ari has been able to come back on this Vex because, well, it's just the way it is. Ari hits an E and just hella damage. I can't really do much. I need to avoid that right there. Unfortunately, she is still powerful and her orb comes back real quick. I am one shot as hell, especially on this Ari, who's a lot more powerful than I thought she was going to be. Luckily, check this out. Auto WQ Smite. Look at that, my health is almost completely back, and I killed Raptors in about, like, a second. Another beautiful thing about using Rost is that you can knock this shield right off the of Scuttle Crab with your W. Huge fan of that. I'm going to be pushing the Scuttle down towards mid lane, because I know Vex needs help a lot more than this Nasus does, even though it's a 2v1 there. I'm going to try, but, uh, no, Vex ain't, Vex ain't going to do shit here. I get her with the W, I get her with the Q, my R is on cooldown or else that would have been a kill. And Vex with the dive. Suicidal Vex, everyone. Don't do this. Don't be this guy, everyone. Not that serious, dog. I will help you get back, but geez. Now I'm out of position because I don't have a Vex to back me up and I got a Viego coming at me. So I need to get out of dodge. I still have my E, but nowhere to E through. Luckily, Viego ain't going to chase me under tower. 
even if all my abilities are up with the way my health was looking, no health pots, nothing, that would have been a really, really tough fight to choose. I'm trying not to die, I'm trying to get kills. It's just the way it is. Now that I've got my form and I've got a decent amount of gold, now I can start really grinding for kills. All it really takes with Kane is like a quick double kill bottom and you're absolutely set for the game and it's really hard to come back from on that. So now there's nothing for me. Dragon's coming up though. I don't want to leave. I see Viego's coming down so now I'm going to go in and try and even the battle down here. And you know how I said something about a quick double kill and you know that's all Kane really needs? Well, uh, check this out. That's one. Oh, you should be running. You should be running. I just tanked your ultimate. And well, that's two. Now, Viego is down, lane is about to be pushed, and Dragon's coming up. I do not want to recall right now, even though I got a ton of gold, it would be fantastic. Instead, what I want to do is steal Krugs, and oh my god, Ari is out of lane, and there were no pings. I am in a really bad spot here, so I'm going to try and outplay her here. I missed the W, which was really brutal, because that would have been fantastic. I get eat again. Alawi steps up. Now, this was actually a really nice play on Alawi, until it wasn't. So, Alawi just absolutely taking hits here. I don't have Smite, which I needed to get my health back, which is what I wanted to do. However, if we both go after that, we both die and double kill that away. So, this was the right play, as bad as it sounds. I should not have gone in on that, and I didn't. So, I made the right decision. Now I gotta back off, because I'm really weak and there's no one to back me up. Let me know in the comments, would you have gone with Alawi on that? Let me know because that was a pretty tough call to make and I had to make it in a split second. But I don't think it was the move. I think I would have died. Speaking of almost dying, if Gwen and I went after that dragon, we both definitely would have died. Now that we got Vex coming in, Viego's out of position. That is a free kill right here if we play it right. Get his flash and then I'm going to have to chase after him. Luckily, Nasus rotated mid and we are all good in the neighborhood. So much CC. Easy kill, right there. Now we got Yone pushing the bottom lane, we got Ari pushing mid, along with Kled, and we've got Dragon up. I do not want to stay in the mid lane, there's no point in 5 stacking mid right here. We're going to be trading tower for tower, I don't want to do that. I want to start getting the kills, I want to start making this video a little bit more interesting, because, you know, I only got 5 kills. And then the Jinx shows up, and that is going to be an outplay right here. This is easy right here. Unfortunately, she does lead me back into the Yone and hits the heal, so I don't get the kill on her, which is really rough because I also missed that W. It's at this point I need to back off because now it's a 2v1 and I just burnt through all of my spells. Luckily, I brought the cavalry and now we can go after this half-health Jinx who's nowhere near tower. Yeah, this Yoni wants nothing to do with what's about to happen. I get the CC, we trade CC, and Gwen gets the kill. Easy. All right, their ADC is down. They know that we've got four on the dragon right here. They know that Nasus is going to be pushing top tower in a minute. They're not going to really try and contest this, especially with their ADC down. It is a free dragon. I'm a huge fan of the new dragons they put in, because nothing makes my skin crawl more than getting team wiped and losing the ocean drift. At least make it worth it, you know what I'm saying? Now, I've got 3.5k in the bank right now. I need to recall and stay relevant with my items. The thing is, is that I've got 5 kills and 1 death. Like, I'm still doing a lot of work here. Unfortunately, um, in the next like eight minutes, I get ten more kills. So, makes a lot of sense that I really need to back here. Unfortunately, I don't because there's CS chilling right here for me. So I really need to do that. I need to not leave free CS on the table, but I also need to make sure that I'm recalling because I am way too weak to be in these fights right now. At Twenty minutes. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter because I'm Kane and can just get away all the time whenever I want to, or so I think. So I'm running to my death, I just don't know it yet. We see Nasus is up there, we know that Viego is right here, and we know that Ari is in the mid lane. So what happens everyone? I decide to go back to lane and get my CS, because I'm all about that. And now I'm going to move up because I see Nasus is fighting, and I think that Viego is going to be helping him out. Instead, nope, Viego is going to be right up my ass in about two seconds. Oh look, everyone is. And so Nasus is still side pushing and Vex is just like nah fam I lag hard and don't get to hit that thing yep easy death for me yeah fantastic love how much that Vex helped anyway I recalled bought a collector and uh, we're in business so anyone guess what my next item is let me know in the comments down below 
and let the real game really begin. So we got a Nasus making hell top lane, Gwen's going over there, we got an Alawi in the bottom lane making life hell for the Jinx, and we have a Vex in the middle who is pretty far behind if you ask me, because Arya's really the only one I'm worried about in this gameplay. So, what are we going to do? We're going to steal her CS and tax her, you know, because I don't care about her. Yeah, just zero help for the mid lane on my part in this game. I don't even feel bad about it. However, it does mean that we're going to be able to push this mid lane because we got two here and, well, I'm a lot more powerful than her. We got Nasus dancing on him. That's fantastic. Hey, Jinx. That's a nice health bar. It'd be a shame if someone were to combo on you. Oh, wait. I did. Bye-bye, Jinx. Dead ADC. No, man. He's got to move back. There's still a fight going on top lane, so I'm going to move over and try and help with that. Unfortunately, Gwen is about to go down in a heap of death right here. And that's just going to leave me and Nasus up here to fight on three people again. And, uh, well, we get the flood, and then we got to have to back off. They're on the tower. Ari's going to absolutely whiff her charm. Oh, yeah, because I can go through walls. And then uh, we're going to continue the fight, try and trade back. I need to go get some more health, so, of course, what I'm going to do is steal the Gromp. Because, you know, one combo and a smite, and I'm back. There we go. I'm ready to fight again. That's all it takes. We are still waiting for minions before we can move up into the top lane, so I'm going to steal some wolves, and then I'll be right back into the fight in about two seconds. I don't want to move in out of position because I am separated from my team by that wall, so what I'm going to wait to do is wait until my E comes up before I go in. If I go in there, I get focused. Instead, I want to wait just a second longer so that I can come in a little bit later and not be caught out of position to die. And now we caught Yone out of position just like that. Vex, you are now my bait. My ultimate is coming back up. They're probably going to chase her because I'm the strong one and I'm the one who's actually full health. So they're going right after her. I'm going to hop this wall and a quick double kill just like that. That's fantastic. Kled does get the Vex, unfortunately. Luckily, he can't really do much against me because, you know, I'm that much more powerful. He's a tank and I am shredding him. Eight triple kill, baby. All right, we got three CS sitting right up in front of me, so I'm going to hit these minions. Of course, I'm not going to get any of them. And then I'm going to move on to Dragon, just spawned. I'm going to steal a couple things along the way, though, because, you know, that's just what you got to do. Nasus is going to TP top and push the top lane, put a little pressure on him while I go for the Dragon, and that's just the way it goes. I'm just casually running around with 3,300 gold. Viego is bottom lane, but I know he doesn't want to contest this. He's not winning these fights, like major jungle difference in this game. He was a pretty solid champ in my opinion, or at least he was when he first came out. So we're going to get this dragon because we absolutely can. It is completely uncontested. Diego wants nothing to do with this work. We got three on the dragon and he's behind anyway. I noticed my mana is a little low, so now I'm going to go up and clear my jungle and then I'm going to finally recall because I'm casually running around with 3,500 gold in my pocket. I'm not really even bothering with the whole Gromp and blue buff at the same time. It's really not worth it to me at this point. I just kind of want to get it and go. I don't really see a reason to try and do it, except it'll save a little bit of time, but I'm planning a reset anyway, so it's not like I'm really hard-pressed to get anywhere at this point. Last chance to guess what my next item is. It's Red Cane. Any guesses? Let me know in the comments right now. you got six seconds before I buy it. Casually run around with almost 4,000 gold. Okay, you see it. It's the grudge. I'm buying a grudge, and now I'm going to get an executioner's calling just because the game says it's good for me. I, It was just a, all right, why not? I'll build, build it. It's cool. All right, so I see Nasus is finally getting um, the shaft where it comes to the Ari. Yeah, three stack just right up the ass. Vex doing absolutely nothing to help him, but I really can't blame him because our Vex is really behind, and Vex was just going to be feeding them a kill if she decided to do that. I do see Kled is pushing top, though. And, uh, well, I got a problem with that. They got objective bounties. Um, Yoni's also there. They got objective bounties, and that is just the easiest way to get back in the game, especially if you have scaling champions, like, for example, Nasus. Nasus hardcore scales, and you just give him more gold because you sucked at the start. That's huge for him. That, like, benefits those champions so much. Oh, yeah, um, quick double kill. They still got the tower, but... Easy double for me right there. They're about to get aced in the mid lane, which I was not even paying attention to. I was going to come down and clean that up, 
but they aced it. Now we're going to get Baron, and that's pretty much GG's at this point. I'm going to push this lane a little bit, and then I'm going to move down to the mid lane, see what I can do to help. And it's not even going to matter, because they're going to be done by then. So, I'm going to be right by Baron. We're just going to start Baron. Works out really well here. Um, this game's going really well. Everyone's up except for the Vex, but you know what? Worst things have happened. I'm able to carry. And so we get free Baron because they're aced. I just want to point out here that uh, Nasus is going to queue the Baron for the final. I'm not even going to bother smiting it. Here's the thing, though. I haven't checked his stacks since the first couple minutes of the game. And um, he could not have been stacking very well. Like, seriously, he couldn't have been. Because uh, it takes him like three Qs to finish this thing off from 200 health. And as you can see, my auto is 314 damage. Just just putting that out there. But thought he was going to do it on that one. And nope. Nope, try it again. Thought he was going to do it on that one. There it is. Third time's the charm. That has nothing to do with playing, you know, tanky Red Cane or... I'm not even building that tanky. It's just, like, kind of sad in my opinion. Alright, let the final skirmish begin. Led, you are out of position. Your ass is mine now. You really think you can 1v1 me? I even got a Vex here. Ari whiffs. Dead Vex. Hi, Ari. Come here. Where the hell did that Now I'm back now. I don't know what the recall was supposed to be there, but, uh, yeah. Gwen, you're my bait. And... Viego, you're my bitch. Ari, you're next. You may have charmed me, but you're not going anywhere. And that is going to be the surrender boat right there. That is GG's, everybody. We didn't even get to an hit. That is all I have for the video. If you made it this far, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. See you next week.